Now let's take a look at sheet collections. You can apply custom browser organizations using the collection parameters. You can create new sheets directly on under a collection in the project browser. You can filter sheets by sheet collections before printing or exporting. And you can apply view filters using your sheet collections values. Let's take a look and see how this is actually done. As you can see here in the project browser, we have already created two sheet collections. Okay. And the way to do that is to come over here to the sheets, right click, and you see new sheet collection. After which, which is what we did here in these two instances, we can actually right click on it, rename it, and let's call this one uh, documentations. Okay, and then select outside, in which case you, we have now seen how we can actually go ahead and create a sheet collection on the fly. That being said, we can actually grab some of these items that are not organized in sheet collections and just drag and drop them into the particular uh, part that we want. For example, we have, we're looking now at sheet A101. Okay, we can actually grab it, drag and drop it into the sheet collection that we want. As you can see right now, they stand alone on their own with their views. So, we actually grab this one, let's say, for example, we want to put it in the uh, conceptual and we just drag and drop it in conceptual. And then you can see that it becomes a child of the conceptual, the conceptual collection. Okay. We can do the same thing with any one of them. As you can see, they're now becoming children of the collection that we have here. So now we have a conceptual set a collection that is got a a101 a102 a103 we can rename them accordingly obviously just like we would in regular sheets and say now that we want to go ahead and uh, create more sheets now take a look at the numbering here we keep we're, we have the a101 numbering system so if i come over here to the documentation right or uh, the sketch the documentation here and we actually right click and say new sheet the number that is going to apply here is very easily a 101 unless i so go ahead and change it in which case then it will start to go ahead and number whatever it is that we want to number here okay the um, thing that happens now is if i do go ahead and do the same thing to the schedules for example It gives me the same thing. So I can co come in here, as I said, and rename it to whatever I want or I need. Okay, at which case it's just the same thing as we've done before. We just go ahead and drop our schedules in and it starts to happen on their own. Okay, this is the first part. Secondly, now that we've got this created and renamed, let's go ahead and add another one. And it continues along that numbering system that we've got here. Now, here's an interesting thing, and you're going to see what happens, which is what I want you to uh, actually start to recognize is, for example, this ceiling section at foyer has already been placed and I believe is A101 here, which is right there, right? So what happens if, as we see, this is in blue, it indicates that this particular view has already been placed. Let's go ahead and minimize this so we can easily see where we want to actually see what happens when we drop it. We go ahead and drop it now into A305 for the sake of argument, and it's going to tell us that this is already placed, okay? So ideally, what I would say that if you want to go ahead and duplicate views inside your um, sheet collections, I would highly advise that you actually go ahead and right click and use the duplicate view features. Okay, depending on what it is you want, you know that you have um, detached collection, detached duplicate views, dependent duplicate, duplicate views, and depend uh, and uh, duplicate views with dependencies. Okay, so depending on what it is that you want to do with these sets. It is the way the way you would recreate these particular 
uh, views up here so you can then go ahead and have them placed in several different uh, uh, sheets in, in different collections. Continuing on, we can see now that we have been organizing this. The question is, can we actually organize this in a better way according to the, the actual sheet collections, okay? Yes, you can, and you do that by, you go to the View tab, and at the end, the user interface, you have the ability to go ahead and bring up your browser organization feature, in which case you can say New. Let's call this one uh, Sheet Collections. And we can say OK. Once that's done, it gives us in, takes us into a secondary dialog box, in which case you can start to go ahead and filter according to sheet collections, the sheet numbers, collections right there. OK, you can go ahead and group them any way you want according to whatever it is that you have gone ahead and assigned as parameters to be actually used here in these sheet collections. And now I see that I've actually uh, um, um, made a mistake here in the spelling. That is not a problem because you can go ahead and um, um, edit. And I should be able to go ahead and uh, rename it. And if not, it's a very simple item to just delete it and create a new one if you so wish. and go ahead and do what is needed to be done here, okay? Once we have that done, we can see then that you have your sheets available. You can go ahead and go and, and sort them out this way, or you can go ahead and schedule them out any way you want according to whatever parameters you actually decide. Let's go ahead and cancel here, and let's move to the next part, which is how can we actually deal with these sheet collections when we actually go to plot? So for that, we come over here to the plot dialog box. Okay, we go ahead and select uh, view sheets or whatever it is here. Um, in this case, we're going to select views and sheets by going to the select button. Okay, and then we can actually come in here and say that we want to create a new one. Okay, collections. Say okay to that. And we can then open up in here, and it gives us the ability to select the sheet collections that we want to use. For example, we don't want to these, we just want the sheet collections. Okay, and we just go, and now we have all of the sheet collections available to us here. Okay, and then we go ahead, can go ahead and select the ones we want, in which case then we can go ahead and proceed in the normal way in which we actually go ahead and create, which is our um, batch plotting, which is really what this is actually allowing you to sort out and organize.